Hi guys, so this is my first personal vlog. Um, I've been really wanting to start this for quite a while, um, but I, I sort of was putting it off and off all the time and I really didn't know sort of where to start or how to start. I mean, it's quite over, overwhelming. I've been practicing all day of what I'm gonna say and it was flowing out of me this morning. I was really in the buzz of it all and then I've come to film now and I'm a bit like, um, I don't know where to start. But basically, um, I have a fashion company with my sister, Natalie, and we have been going for three years now. Um, and it's been absolutely amazing and we've been like loving it and we've been building the brand together um and this year we really had the idea to just smash it um we'd grown our following on instagram and we were about to employ new staff but then lockdown hit and we were just like oh what now um it sort of really shocked us and like all businesses didn't really know what we were going to do and how we were going to navigate through it but anyway we feel that like we've got in a really good place now and i know we're not out of the sort of the thick of it yet but it really sort of made us question what our, what our other interests were besides our fashion brand together so anyway we knew that we wanted we had other interests in other areas um i really was enjoying the vlogging side of things we created two vlogs last year and then we just stopped and we didn't pick it back up because things got quite busy but then i realized i really enjoyed doing the vlogs and doing um filmography what made me think do i want to pursue that area of um, creativity so and then it, it turned out that Natalie as well had other interests in buying and selling products and cre wanting to create a different side of fashion that we do because currently at the moment we manufacture and retail our garments online and Natalie has took on another side another company and she's just launched her new fashion brand called Sister so that's all going amazing i love all the stuff that she's bought at the moment i want it all i've got one of her jackets on at the moment um and now i'm really needing to give myself a kick up the ass to just sort of go for what i want to do as well so that's a bit of background story i am sure i'll get into more of that as time goes on you'll be seeing a lot more of like the fashion brand and my other interests as well which is music and we have a van so a bit of van life as well and a bit of travel i just thought it would be a great way to start by using a personal vlog because it it, it allows me to explore my um skill set and at the same time brush upon my skills of filmography and videography um which is what i really wanted my sideline to be um, I had an idea that I wanted to go into businesses and film their, the experience of them or the behind the scenes um, because I have a real passion for business. I wanted to help market businesses, um, especially locally around our area in the northeast because there's so many amazing businesses and I just think like people just they need to get out there and people need to see what what our area is doing and yeah i'm just so proud that um there's businesses starting all the time and i just love to get in there and really showcase like what they're about and their experience just so many different businesses that i just feel like could be it would be useful to showcase and film so that was one of the reasons why I wanted to go into videography and the other side is I recently got, my, well I say recently, um, it was last year, uh, sorry this is Molly by the way, she's uh, <laughs> she's my little puppy but she's um, she's just keeping me company. You'll be seeing probably a lot of her as well because she's glued to my side. Um, yeah, so basically where was I? Yeah, recently got married last year um, and we had our wedding filmed and it was absolutely amazing. I loved it and it just, it made me want to just 
film events and occasions, not only weddings, but also like birthday, like they're so important these occasions and we take loads of pictures and they just go wherever, stay on our phone, um, a couple get uploaded to Instagram and things like that but I've just really come through a like a passion for wanting to organise all my photos into different files and just have them there ready so that I can just look at them when I want um, and I've been filming my occasions as well since and I just thought this people need to take more time and effort to actually you know look back through the photos and films and it's just so important I think to log these like special events they go so fast um anyone who's been married knows like it literally goes within a flash and everyone tells you before like oh like make, enjoy it make the most of it it goes really fast and it actually really does um and i can't believe it's been over a year now since our day and it's it's crazy but um yeah, I, that was the main background as, as to the reason why I want, really wanted to get into this and I wasn't really keen on starting a personal vlog but I thought what other way am I going to be able to brush upon my skills and with weddings and, and events really being postponed it's just a good time to start filming and editing my own stuff so and I feel like I've led a pretty interesting life to be fair we've got i've got my fashion company with my sister and we go off in our van i do mu music as well and we really want to get some covers um of music i play guitar and piano and i'd love to sort of get that up and running so yeah i just feel like it's a good time to start i remember when we did our first two vlogs for liel and it took me ages to edit them, but I just absolutely, I was just in my own world of doing it and I just absolutely enjoyed it so much. It was amazing. And after I did it, I felt so accomplished that I'd create this video. I mean, they're probably not, they're probably not even the best or whatever, but I just had that interest in wanting to do it. So I thought with a personal vlog, at least I can, I can film and edit and, yeah just bring you with me really so so that's a little bit of background about what I do and why I wanted to start this vlog I think it's a bit overwhelming to to think like I didn't know what, how to start or where to start and just thought right today I just need to get it done um but I'm going actually going down to um see a company that's just opened called Back Pantry so he is a really good friend of ours, mine and Natalie's, and um, he's been a really good business friend and we've really bounced off each other when it comes to business and things like that. So I really want to go down today and support him. It's actually like, I think it's about half three or something and it closes at half four. Um, but I've been doing other things and putting this off and then now I'm going to be rushing. But yeah, I really wanted, I thought what better way to start this vlog and do something that is one of my passions which is go and support people's businesses so I can also put that into the vlog and I can create a little bit of a, a, a film for him um to for him to put up on his Instagram or any of his uh, platforms so yeah I should take you with me there um he also has a cake company called that cake so it's like a a sister branch off that um and that pantry is more savory and it does bread and donuts and things like that so that is really up my street i have a massive savory tooth so when he mentioned that he was doing a um a pantry i was buzzing basically um so yeah i'll bring you with me there today and we can see what in store. Okay, I'm going to set off now, we really need to hurry. But yeah, I'm late as usual. Uh, you'll probably come to realise that that is really one of my downfalls. Um, anyway, I'll catch up with you soon. Bye! Hey guys, 
so I'm back from the, that pantry and um, it was unreal the shop's amazing it's like literally walking into like Italian food store or something it's got all like pastas in um balsamic vinegars glazes olives just like all really really nice stuff i'll show you what i've got um so i got some pasta <laughs> um me and alex absolutely love um tagliatelle we make a carbonara quite frequently so um i thought yeah we definitely need some of that he, he, Stephen said it was imported from italy so it sounded amazing me and alex actually went to italy for our honeymoon and we attended a italian cooking class so can't wait to try it and then we bought some um balsamic glaze i thought i'd get fig because we're in that type of season at the moment um and i thought that would be that would probably i'm sure we had this when we went to italy um and then i we got i got alex some beers because i thought i can't come home empty-handed and so i got these beers which i might have one of these actually um pale ale i don't know which one to have but i'll probably have one um sorry my nail is has come off this one um so oopsie so i got them beers and the last thing some chocolate which is for my stepdad because it's a birthday coming up and he loves dark chocolate so i think this is imported from this is made in glasgow it's handmade Stephen did open it and show me oops i oh know i've ripped it oops oh. oh handcrafted in glasgow yummy really nice packaging but now i've just made a little break in it damn So that'll teach me to not open things. Morning guys. I decided not to end the vlog there yesterday. I was gonna end it and then I thought, oh, I might as well actually just carry on today because it's Sunday and um yeah, um I thought I just might as well uh, I didn't feel like I got like the content that I wanted to get so I thought, well, maybe I'll just carry it on today and then I'll have more to edit. So I just wish that I was a bit more confident with like getting the camera out and stuff. Um, yeah, it's just, it is like a knack, isn't it? I suppose. Um, but I'll get more confident hopefully as time goes on. I'm just about to go for a run. I've signed up to the 100k challenge for breast cancer now for October. So I've done about 20, well, I was meant to do 25 miles, no, 25k, sorry, a week, but I didn't quite, I should have gone for a run yesterday, really, but I'm going to try and do a bit of a long one today, so hopefully that I'll I'll catch back up to where I, I was, because I don't want to get too far behind and then leave myself with, like, loads of running to do. I did a 10k the other week, uh, last week, and... It was, I used to have really bad knee pain um, and I haven't been able to run for quite a while. I've done a half marathon before and I did quite a bit of training for that. And ever since then, really, I've, I've not been able to run because of the knee pain. So I think it's because I'm bow legged and I get that from my granddad. But he, he has knee pain as well as actually had a knee operation. So I'm really hoping that that doesn't happen to me Um, I've been trying all these different stretches and I just typed in Google um, stretches and exercises for bow legs and a lot came up actually on YouTube so I've just been copying some of them moves and I went for a 10k run the other day and the pain didn't come on so because usually it happens about I'd say 10 minutes into my running it sort of comes on and I'm like oh 
I can't, I don't want to keep on like running if it's going to cause more damage. So I thought maybe just do some strengthening and exercises and touch wood. Um, it hasn't come on. So I'm going to try another 10k today. Um, I didn't quite reach the 10k last time actually. I needed to just extend it slightly. So I think I've got a route in mind where I can go just to slightly extend. Um, I live in Gisborough. I don't know if anyone is aware of where that is, but it's in the northeast. And yeah, it's like a cute little town. Um, it's got like woods and stuff, which you can, I don't know if you can see, but up there, um, it has like woods and we're not far from the sea either so i used to live in red car which is a a seaside town so i'm pretty lucky really to have like woods and the seaside so um yeah i am also going to get my photos developed today that I've been putting off for literally over a year there are wedding photos so when we got married we put like little um what's it called disposable cameras on the tables and they're over here um all in there they're like literally about I don't know how many is in there I don't know how much it's going to be but I thought right today's the day that I'm going to go and do it because um it's just been payday and if I don't get them done I'm really worried that they might not develop because I'm sure if you don't get disposable cameras developed something can happen to the quality so I'm really hoping that um that hasn't happened so yeah I'll keep you posted I'm gonna go now I think I'm gonna be about an hour I was hoping to get out early but I had loads of washing to put away which is just like I just hate doing that task um but anyway done now and yeah I'm gonna go for a run be about an hour then I'm gonna go to boots so I'll keep posting mm -hmm. Bye. stretches there to, to make sure that my knees are fully stretched and rested so um I just did did a few like stretching out the glutes and the um and the thighs really so and if my shins as well because my sister who is doing the challenge as well Abby she's got shin splints so I'm really make, like making a conscious effort not to um to stretch out my shins so that I don't get shin splints. I've had shin splints before and I don't envy her at all. Like, it's so painful. Um, I've been showing a stretches to do because I've found a, a good woman on YouTube. I can't remember her name now. Showing some really good stretches for the shins and the legs and the knee and everything like that. So, um, yeah, I feel better for going for a run. I had a bit of a headache so I had some red wine last night um and yeah i took a tablet before i went but it hadn't quite kicked in yet and that was a bit sore and painful but it was gone by the time i got home so that was good my headphones ran out as well probably like less than halfway through the run so i was gutted about that i had my phone i had my charger and then my headphones and it just ran out and i was like great so Anyway, it was nice to be with my thoughts and sometimes I think it's nice to just have a bit of silence and be with yourself. So, um, yeah, it was good. I didn't manage to get the 10k done. I, I was sure that I did 10k, but the Strava didn't log it. So, because I, I ran less than that before and Strava said I did 9.2k. But then I've run longer today and Strava said I've only done nine. So I don't know how that works out. I'm a bit gutted that it's robbed me of a K. Um, but anyway, I've done more than more than what I um, set out to do, really, because I've 
put myself in a good stead for this week for doing the 25k because I've I've done say seven from that I was meant to do last week and three can be added on to this week so I'm 3k into my 25k for the week if that makes sense um so yeah I didn't know what else to say um oh I had a thought that Boots isn't open on a Sunday and I just googled it and I was right it isn't open so I'm not going to be able to get my photos developed unless I went to like Teesside Park or something and I'm not really I can't really be bothered to go there really so um I'm not going to get them done today which again I'm putting off but I really need to get them done but I'll get them done next weekend um, instead I think well we're gonna have some um dinner probably soon so what i'm thinking is cooking the tagliatelle carbonara and um, with the pasta that i got from that pantry yesterday so i think i might need to go to the shops i need to double check with alex he's just downstairs doing some diy work so yeah i think i really enjoyed doing the vlog today um i'm glad that i uh, decided to extend it um, I think it would have been pretty short if I'd have just kept it to yesterday. So I'll be getting prepped for a work day tomorrow, back at work with Nat. Um, we'll be in the office. We've got some really exciting things ahead. We've got a um, warehouse sale that we did back in February last year. And it worked really well, but because we are actually moving into a new premises, we need to get sort of everything just condensed down as much as we can. And we, we've got like a lot of different products that we, we need to just put in a sale so we can, we don't take it all with us to the new place. And we've recently like redefined our range. So over the past three years, we've accumulated stock and we need to sort of put them all in the sale now. Um, so that we can just keep our range to like what it is now. If you are interested in my work life, head over to our channel. It's called Liel Sisters and it's me and Natalie. Um, and we just, we've only got two on there at the moment, but we want to get back on the vlogging scene. So yeah, I think we're gonna, over the next couple of weeks, create a few different films for that we wanted to create a, a weekly vlog um maybe doing the warehouse sale and then our move so and then maybe like a studio tour or something like that so that's all really exciting i think i'm going to go nip to the shops now get get a few bits for what i need for our carbonara and then i shall see you soon. delicious really recommend the 
pasta from that pantry. I think that's it for today. I think I'm going to end the vlog there. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm excited to create some more content. If you liked my content, then please subscribe to my channel um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.